Imagine a secret known to only a few, the power of detachment, a journey that challenges our deepest beliefs. Controversial, isn't it? Most people think that attachment is synonymous with love and care, but today I will reveal a counterintuitive truth. Detachment can be the key to a more fulfilling and healthy life. Seems impossible? Then brace yourself for a surprising revelation. In this video, I will guide you through the less traveled paths of emotional and material detachment, unveiling psychological practices and perspectives that may seem contradictory, but are essential for emotional well-being and personal growth. Are you ready for a quick and profound transformation? Don't miss this unique opportunity to discover how to free yourself from invisible chains and build stronger, healthier emotional bonds. Subscribe now to the Stoic Mind channel, turn on the notification bell and leave a like. Join us on this journey of self-discovery and emotional liberation. Shall we embark on this mystery together? The first step on the path of detachment is paradoxically a step back, seeking a period of separation, not with the intention of creating a void, but to gain clarity. Imagine yourself in a bustling celebration with loud music and lively conversations everywhere. In such an environment, trying to discern a whisper from a friend can be a real challenge. Similarly, when we are overly involved with someone or something, our emotions can intensify, just as the noise of a party can cloud our mental clarity. Taking a step back in this vibrant scenario is like stepping away from that noisy environment into a more serene place, a refuge where you can hear your own thoughts and reflect more clearly. This analogy invites us to consider how distancing ourselves from intense or absorbing situations can create space for deeper understanding and clearer insight. Just as in a noisy party, where an excess of sound stimuli can hinder effective communication, the same happens in our emotional world. Emotionally involved, we can be immersed in a cacophony of feelings, making it difficult to make thoughtful decisions or have a clear understanding of the situation. By taking a step back, we allow emotional noise to diminish, providing a calmer mental environment conducive to reflection. This withdrawal does not suggest evasion or indifference, but rather a conscious approach to gaining perspective. It's like finding a quieter spot at the party where you can focus on important conversations and meaningful moments. Similarly, by distancing yourself emotionally, you can discern the nuances of the situation, identifying essential aspects and separating them from emotional turmoil. Moreover, this practice of stepping back is intrinsically linked to authenticity and self-awareness. By allowing yourself this space, you can better understand your own reactions, motivations and desires. This self-awareness, cultivated in the tranquility of detachment, serves as a valuable compass to guide your choices and future actions. Therefore, when imagining yourself in a noisy celebration, consider how the ability to take a step back not only offers momentary relief, but also proves to be a valuable skill for cultivating mental clarity, self-awareness and a more balanced approach to the complexities of life. Seneca, a philosopher of profound insights, advocated for the importance of turning inward. This return is not only about physical distance, but also mental and emotional. When emotions cloud our judgment, distancing ourselves allows us to observe them as one admires clouds drifting across the sky, recognizing that they are separate entities from our essence. This detachment is not synonymous with indifference. It is a way of facing the situation and our reactions objectively, as if we were analyzing the entire chessboard, not just the piece we are holding. In contemporary times, it is not necessary to isolate oneself in a rural village, as the Stoics suggested. Sometimes it is enough to turn off the phone for a while, take a walk, or simply sit in silence in a room. The essential thing is to find a place where your thoughts and feelings are not suffocated by the incessant noise of everyday life. In these moments of quietude, we discover the ability to make decisions not based on fleeting emotional reactions, but on logical reasoning, deep reflection, and intrinsic wisdom. This step back is your power tool. Transition to a space where you can breathe freely and see beyond the fog of the present moment. The second step in the detachment process involves rationally pondering the need for distance. The decision to distance oneself from someone is not an impulsive act, but a methodical deliberation that reflects the wisdom and virtue of Stoicism. Imagine your existence as a maritime expedition, where the people in your life are comparable to winds and currents. Some contribute to smooth navigation, 
while others may lead you into turbulent waters. As the commander of this ship, it is crucial to discern which winds to favor and which storms to navigate around. This decision is not an escape but a conscious guidance of the trajectory of your life, aligned with your values and personal well-being. Epictetus, a Stoic philosopher who transcended his condition as a slave to become a sage, emphasized the importance of choosing associations that resonate with our inner being. Analyzing your relationships as mirrors allows you to see what they reflect back to you. Serenity, evolution, and understanding, or uncertainty, discomfort, and anguish. Detachment is not an act of renunciation, but a conscious choice for the preservation of your own integrity and morality. Stoicism advocates not for dispassionate logic, but for wisdom that encourages us to consider what people add to our lives, harmony or dissonance. As you reflect on this decision, remember Epictetus's words, we are not disturbed by what happens, but by our thoughts about what happens. The choice to distance yourself is not only about the person in question, but about your perception of their impact on your life. They may represent an exciting chapter in your development or a footnote that deviates from your path. Ultimately, choosing distance is an effort to create a life story of which you can be proud. It is a commitment to loyalty to yourself, your values, and your journey. Stoicism teaches us to value relationships that enrich our narrative and to respectfully distance ourselves from those that do not add value. It is not about building a life where every person and experience is meticulously selected, but about forging a story that resonates with authenticity and meaning. The third step in this journey of detachment is engaging in a conversation with someone you trust. In moments when life seems like a puzzle with mismatched pieces, it is time to seek inspiration from stoic wisdom. The resilience of great thinkers also highlights the importance of connections, emphasizing that having a reliable person is like finding an anchor in the midst of a storm. This interaction goes beyond a simple venting, it brings clarity and new perspectives. It is like having a co-pilot on your life journey, someone who assists in guidance when your own sense of direction seems confusing. Seneca, with his profound understanding of the human being, valued the wisdom that arises from sharing. He saw a friend as a mirror that reflects not only our appearance, but our deepest truths. This interaction is more than just a reflection of ourselves. It is a means of understanding our trajectory. When opening up to someone, we are not just sharing words, but inviting them into our inner universe, giving them a glimpse of our thoughts and feelings. This sharing creates a space of mutual understanding and support, where not only condolences are exchanged, but also valuable insights. The choice of whom to trust should be carefully considered, favoring someone who embodies the values we cherish. This person becomes an echo of our ideas, helping us navigate through our thoughts and emotions. Their role is not to solve our problems. Often just listening is significant support. Their presence reminds us that we are not isolated on this journey. By sharing your thoughts, you may discover small pearls of wisdom in the words of the interlocutor, sparks of truth that illuminate different perspectives. Stoicism teaches us that life's obstacles are faced with serenity and the support of a chosen community. Your confidant is a vital part of this community, reaffirming that strength often comes from unity. Detaching from someone or a situation does not mean renouncing everything human. In fact, it is these human relationships that provide the strength and insight needed to navigate the intricate tapestry of existence. In conversations with this trusted person, which transcend mere casual dialogues, you find true bridges to clarity and anchors to navigate the changing seas of life. The fourth step toward detachment involves setting boundaries for our emotions. When intense feelings dominate the emotional landscape, it is like being at the helm of a ship in the midst of a storm, where emotional waves are strong and sometimes overwhelming. Stoic teachings are not about avoiding these waves, but learning to navigate them with skill and discernment. This means knowing when to allow the waves to carry us and when to firmly hold the ship's helm. Emotions are an inherent part of being human, but without clearly established boundaries, they can lead us astray. The skill lies in experiencing these emotions without letting them overwhelm us. Epictetus, with his deep understanding of the human spirit, reminds us that it is not the events themselves that affect us, but how we interpret them. This understanding is crucial for delineating emotional limits, like having a caretaker in our mind who welcomes each visitor, 
our feelings, but does not allow them to take over our inner space. For example, when feeling anger we acknowledge its existence, understand its reason, but do not allow it to dominate our actions or feelings. Setting our emotional boundaries is a dialogue with them, understanding their role and directing them so that they do not overshadow our logic. In practice, establishing these boundaries may mean allowing yourself a period to feel a certain emotion. We can say, at this moment, I will allow myself to feel this frustration, but later, I will focus on solutions. This does not imply denying feelings but managing their influence on us. It is a balancing act, similar to a tightrope walker who acknowledges the danger but keeps focus on the rope. By doing so, we respect our emotions without becoming their hostages. We feel, understand and then redirect to a state of harmony and reason. This process is not about suppressing emotions, it is about moderation and managing them. The fifth and crucial step in the detachment process is to carefully assess the potential consequences of this separation. When at the crossroads of the detachment path, it is vital to pause and examine each possible route. Stoicism does not encourage hasty decisions. On the contrary, it emphasizes the need for deep reflection. Imagine each path as a potential future, each turn leading to different outcomes. What awaits you on the path of distancing? Will it be growth, serenity, and a more consolidated identity, or remorse and longing for what was left behind? This foresight exercise is not about accurately predicting the future, but about preparing with prudence. Marcus Aurelius, the wise emperor facing the challenge of ruling a vast empire, embodies Stoic philosophy by employing reflection on the past as a compass to guide his future expectations. His method of detachment, looking back, offers valuable insight into the consequences of his actions. It is fascinating to observe how this detachment unfolds, questioning whether it brought clarity and tranquility, or on the other hand, resulted in isolation and regret. When analyzing your past experiences, it is crucial to consider how detachment influenced not only the life of Marcus Aurelius, but also the dynamics of his empire. This retrospective exercise functions as a map guiding your future decisions. The ability to learn from past lessons is an invaluable skill, providing insight and wisdom to face the challenges the future may present. The Stoic approach, which values the balance between personal needs and the collective good, emphasizes the importance of considering the impact of our actions on others. Marcus Aurelius, in distancing himself, sought not only his own personal development, but also evaluated how his choices reverberated in the lives of those around him. This deep introspection suggests a remarkable awareness of the ethical consequences of his decisions. Therefore, when reflecting on detachment, it is essential to question whether this action genuinely promotes personal development and positively contributes to the lives of others. Did the detachment strengthen interpersonal relationships, encourage mutual growth and build a healthy environment, or could it have caused harm and misunderstandings? Marcus Aurelius, as a Stoic leader, reminds us of the importance of consciously navigating through the sea of time, using lessons from the past as beacons to illuminate the path toward a wiser and more compassionate future. This step in the journey of detachment transcends exclusive concern for self-interest. It is about aligning individual well-being with the broader context in which we are embedded. Analogously, it is like walking carefully through a garden, ensuring that each step fosters prosperity rather than harms the surrounding plants. Detachment from the Stoic perspective is not just a superficial renunciation, but an exercise in careful wisdom, a deliberate decision that takes into account not only the individual, but the complex web of relationships in which we are intertwined. Considering the sixth step in the journey of detachment, which involves stepping away from social networks, we can visualize the mind as a placid lake. Now, imagine social networks as raindrops constantly disturbing that calm surface. The act of giving oneself a break from these digital platforms is not just a practice of momentary disconnection, but a conscious strategy to preserve mental tranquility. Constant interaction with social networks can be likened to a deluge of information, opinions and news, stirring the surface of the mental lake. By distancing oneself from these platforms, it allows the waters to calm down, enabling renewed mental clarity. This act is not just a temporary escape, but a deliberate choice to protect inner serenity. 
promoting a more mindful and balanced approach to technology and digital communication. Furthermore, by taking this step towards digital detachment, space is created for a more authentic connection with the surroundings and personal relationships. It is as if, by stepping away from digital distractions, one can redirect attention to the garden of life, cultivating meaningful relationships and nurturing the fertile soil of existence. Thus, the practice of detachment, especially in the context of social networks, is not just a matter of momentary disengagement, but a continuous journey toward a deeper understanding of oneself and the world around us. It is a quest for inner peace amidst digital turmoil, akin to tenderly tending to an internal garden to reap the fruits of a more fulfilling and balanced life. Every update, notification and comparison on social networks is equivalent to a drop that disturbs the serenity of the lake of our mind. This philosophy, with roots long before the digital era, offers timeless wisdom for dealing with the constant distractions of the modern world. If we turn to the teachings of Seneca, who reflected on the ephemeral nature of life, we can easily compare social networks to a contemporary source of countless unnecessary distractions, especially in the context of the detachment process. As we consider this step in the journey of detachment, we realize that it involves more than simply disconnecting from social networks. It's about reclaiming not only time, but also attention, intentionally choosing where to direct our valuable energy. In a world where attention is the most coveted asset, distancing ourselves from social networks is not just a strategy to avoid a digital flood, but a conscious choice to create space for our minds to breathe and reflect. Imagine social networks as a bustling street, with constant clamor of information and interactions. By stepping away from these platforms, it's like closing the curtains to muffle the incessant noise allowing us to focus on other more meaningful aspects of life. This doesn't mean completely ignoring the digital world, but rather setting boundaries to regain perspective and mental clarity. In this sense, taking a break from social networks is not just a strategy for individual preservation, but also a form of conscious resistance to the constant invasion of digital stimuli. In a way, we are challenging the notion that we must be constantly connected and available. By doing so, we are reclaiming our time as a precious resource, deliberately choosing where to invest our attention and energy. Therefore, by adopting this step towards detachment from social networks, we are not just temporarily escaping the virtual hustle, but taking control of our own digital experience. We are recognizing the importance of moments of quietness amid the incessant noise, empowering ourselves to be conscious architects of our mental journey, shaping it with purpose and meaning. Picture yourself in a tranquil environment, conducive to reflection and understanding, where taking a break from social networks is not an escape, but a commitment to self-care and a manifestation of discernment about what strengthens us and what drains us. This deliberate pause offers the opportunity to observe the transformation in your mental state, a sense of calm, presence and heightened awareness of your own thoughts and emotions. During this break from social networks, you may experience the true essence of Stoicism, a philosophy that resonates with the idea of recognizing what is within our control and letting go of what is not. By temporarily disengaging from these digital platforms, you are taking control of what enters your field of consciousness. This conscious act not only reinforces your autonomy, but also strengthens the connection with your inner essence, where self-awareness flourishes. Understand that while we cannot stop the reign of life, we can choose to seek shelter, and appreciate the sound of drops without getting wet. This metaphor becomes especially relevant when interrupting the use of social networks. By doing so, you are not simply disconnecting but seeking a protected space, a mental refuge where clarity and introspection can thrive. Interrupting the use of social networks may initially feel like jumping off a moving train, a challenging act that breaks digital inertia. However, it is in this newly discovered quietude that you may find a sharper perspective, it's as if, by slowing down, you allow the digital dust to settle, revealing a clearer view of the landscape around you. Therefore, by choosing to temporarily disconnect, you are allowing yourself not only to escape digital chaos, but also to enter a space of serenity and discernment. It is in this tranquil environment that the seeds of self-awareness and authenticity can sprout, providing a solid foundation for a more balanced relationship with social networks, and ultimately, with the digital life. While temporarily stepping away from the digital world, remember the words of Seneca, 
and use this time for enriching activities such as reading, walking, journaling, or engaging in hobbies that nurture your spirit. This break is a chance to reconnect with yourself, a moment to rediscover your essence in silence, away from the collective tumult. The seventh step in the journey of detachment emerges as an eloquent invitation to deliberately direct our attention to our most fundamental needs. As we progress on this path, it becomes imperative to tune our focus with the core of our being. Here, we find the pulsating heart of Stoicism, urging us to concentrate our energy on what truly matters for internal growth and personal well-being. This redirection involves stripping away the superfluous, the incessant noise, and the trivialities that often unnecessarily occupy space in our lives. It is a process of cultivating what truly nourishes the soul, going beyond mere material needs. In this sense, it is as if we are uncovering the deepest layers of ourselves, exploring aspects such as emotional sustenance, moral integrity, and personal development. Visualizing our life as a garden, we are challenged to identify the crucial elements for our flourishing. Just as sunlight and water are vital for the growth of plants, what is indispensable for our emotional and spiritual growth? This reflection invites us to evaluate not only what we want, but what we truly need to achieve a fulfilling and meaningful existence. Epicurus, a philosopher who flourished amidst adversity, deeply understood the importance of focusing on the essential. His teachings resonate to this day, urging us to discern between the necessary and the superfluous. Embracing this timeless wisdom empowers us to sever ties with elements that only serve as distractions on our journey, allowing us to channel our energy toward what truly nourishes and enriches our life experience. Therefore, by incorporating the seventh step in the journey of detachment, we are not only simplifying our lives, but embarking on a journey of self-discovery and authenticity. By tuning our attention to the essential, we build solid foundations for a more meaningful existence, guided by discernment and a conscious pursuit of what truly matters. True wealth, according to Epicurus, does not lie in possessing many possessions, but in having few needs. Apply this philosophy to your emotional life, reflecting on what is necessary for you to feel fulfilled, stable, and at peace. Remember that, often, less is more in a world filled with choices and distractions. Finding contentment in simplicity and depth involves contemplating what truly brings genuine happiness and peace. In practice, this may mean dedicating time to reflect on what brings you genuine joy, whether in solitude, meaningful conversations, engaging in a hobby, or other activities that nourish your spirit. Identifying these essential needs and prioritizing them is like packing for a journey, taking only what adds value to your experience. This intentional focus facilitates detachment from the unnecessary, be it people or situations that are not aligned with your basic needs. By centering your life around these fundamental needs, you establish a solid foundation of stability and contentment. This is not a one-time exercise, but a continuous process, a constant return to what truly matters. As you journey through life, continue revisiting your fundamental needs, adapting and realigning them as you grow and transform. This focus is your compass, guiding you through the complexities of life with clarity and purpose. Living intentionally, not just existing, is at the core of Stoicism. If you're enjoying this, don't forget to leave your comment to help boost interaction with our content. If you have nothing to comment, just say, gratitude is the key, and mention today's date. Let's continue. The eighth step, the celebration of gratitude and recognition of the present, represents a crucial point in our journey toward detachment. Here we delve deep into the virtue of gratitude, which stands out as a central pillar in Stoicism. This step involves a close and appreciative analysis of what we have in this moment, identifying the blessings and valuable lessons hidden in each of our experiences. The practice of gratitude goes beyond simply thanking for the joys of life, it also encompasses the ability to appreciate the learning that arises from challenging moments. By cultivating a grateful spirit, we can contemplate the world and our experiences from an entirely new perspective. Obstacles transform into steps that lead us to personal growth and the strengthening of our character. This paradigm shift leads us to shift our focus from deficiencies to a deep appreciation of the blessings within our reach. The constant practice of counting blessings, whether meaningful encounters, contemplation of natural beauty or moments of serenity and deep reflection 
enhances our ability to live in the present with fullness and awareness, strengthening our emotional resilience. This practice can be compared to weaving a rich tapestry of experiences, where each thread of gratitude adds color and texture to the grand mosaic of our existence. This step invites us to celebrate life in its entirety, welcoming each experience as a valuable opportunity for learning and personal enrichment. Therefore, by incorporating gratitude into our journey of detachment, we open the doors to a deeper connection with the present moment and a profound understanding of the meaning of life. It is as if we are exploring an uncharted treasure, where wealth resides not only in the things we possess, but also in the lessons we extract from our experiences. So I invite you to embrace this eighth step with enthusiasm and curiosity, as it offers us the key to a fuller and more meaningful life. Step 9. Promotion of flexibility and willingness to change. In this crucial step of the detachment journey, we are challenged to accept not only the transience of all things, but also the unpredictability of the world around us. Life is a constant flow of events, some of which are beyond our control. However, what we can control is our attitude and response to these events. Mental flexibility in this context is not just a passive response to changes, but an active posture of adaptation. It means being willing to let go of our old conceptions and attachments when necessary and embracing the unknown with courage. It is like navigating a turbulent river, constantly adjusting our course as the currents take us. This does not mean abandoning our values and principles, but finding flexible ways to apply them in different situations. The practice of flexibility also allows us to develop emotional resilience. By accepting change as a natural part of life, we reduce the resistance and suffering that often accompany the struggle against the inevitable. Instead, we learn to flow with circumstances, turning challenges into opportunities for growth. Moreover, flexibility empowers us to see the positive potential even in the most adverse situations. This does not mean ignoring suffering or denying difficulty, but finding ways to learn from these experiences and grow as individuals. Finally, step nine invites us to dance with life, to embrace its changes and twists with grace and humility. It reminds us that life is a journey of continuous discoveries, and our ability to adapt and learn is what allows us to thrive amid uncertainty. Therefore, by adopting flexibility as a fundamental principle in our pursuit of detachment, we are preparing for a richer, more meaningful and resilient life. If you're enjoying this, don't miss the opportunity. Get the ebook now, Stoicism in the 21st Century, Ancient Strategies for Modern Challenges, and unlock your prosperity, abundance and improve your relationships with this ebook. Link in the pinned comment. Step 10. Practice empathy and sharing. In the 10th step of the detachment path, we focus our attention on cultivating empathy and practicing sharing. Inspired by Stoic principles, we recognize the importance of connecting deeply with others and positively contributing to their lives. Empathy is the ability to understand and share the feelings of others. In this step, we learn to listen attentively, to put ourselves in the shoes of others and to recognize their perspectives and emotions. This allows us to establish more meaningful connections with people around us, creating relationships based on understanding and solidarity. Sharing, on the other hand, involves actively contributing to the well-being of others. This can be done in various ways, from offering emotional support to assisting with concrete actions. By practicing sharing, we not only enrich the lives of others, but also strengthen our own sense of purpose and fulfillment. In this step, it is crucial to remember that detachment does not mean distancing ourselves from human relationships, but transforming them into more meaningful connections. Empathy and sharing are like bridges that connect us to others deeply and authentically. By practicing empathy and sharing, we contribute to a more compassionate and supportive world, aligning our actions with stoic values of virtue and kindness. This enables us to live a fulfilling life where detachment doesn't make us indifferent, but turns us into more conscious and connected human beings. Step 11. Nurture your mind and body. In the 11th step of the path of detachment, we direct our attention to taking care of our mind and body. This step is essential for maintaining emotional and physical balance as we navigate the complexities of life. We begin with caring for the mind by practicing mindfulness and self-reflection. Mindfulness involves being present in the moment, observing our thoughts and emotions without judgment. This helps us cultivate mental clarity and reduce stress. 
Self-reflection, on the other hand, allows us to understand our patterns of thinking and behavior, identifying areas where we can grow and improve. Additionally, we dedicate time to nourishing the mind through reading, learning, and practicing creative skills. This allows us to expand our knowledge, stimulate our creativity, and maintain an agile and curious mind. When it comes to taking care of the body, we value the importance of a healthy diet, regular exercise, and adequate rest. The body is the vehicle that allows us to experience the world, and taking care of it is fundamental to a balanced life. This step reminds us that detachment is not just about freeing ourselves from worries and stress, but also about investing in our physical and mental well-being. By nurturing our mind and body, we are better prepared to face life's challenges with resilience and serenity, aligning ourselves with stoic principles of virtue and wisdom. This step serves as a reminder that self-care is an essential part of the path of detachment. As we embark on the path of detachment, whether from complications, people or situations, we encounter a wealth of profound insights and practical guidance in the lessons of Stoicism. This ancient philosophy encourages us to take a step back, carefully ponder the reasons that lead us to detachment, engage in enlightening dialogues, set boundaries for our emotional reactions, and consider the consequences of our choices. By distancing ourselves from incessant external influences, such as those of social media, and focusing on our essential needs, our actions align with Stoic principles. Stoicism, with its timeless wisdom, teaches us that detachment is not synonymous with emotional insensitivity. On the contrary, it is the path to achieving inner tranquility and resilience as we navigate intricate human relationships and life's challenges. Stoic principles shine as a beacon, offering inspiration and guidance toward a life enriched by virtue, wisdom and emotional strength. This philosophy not only equips us to face the vicissitudes of life with greater serenity, but also empowers us to cultivate deeper and more meaningful relationships, both with ourselves and others. Thus, Stoicism proves to be a valuable guide on the path to a more conscious and balanced life. If you enjoyed this, subscribe, leave your like and comment. Always be grateful.